This is special extra dosing. That's gonna be focused on the Moscow murders, the updates. When we originally did the first podcast on it, literally less than 12 hours later, mm-hmm. Brian Koberger was back in Idaho and a bunch of stuff came out. And so it was just the worst timing to do that podcast. But hey, you know, now we got to bring the updates that all came. And there's a lot more since then. Um, I think it's Moscow, not Moscow. We got a lot of DMs that it's yeah. not like Russia. Uh, I guess not. It's just Mad Dog and I on the extra dose today. So Hi. I only have a couple minutes, but I wanted to pop in and talk. Yeah. So this guy, honestly, now that I've seen the affidavit, I thought this guy was like trying to do the perfect crime, but he made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Like, so what Billy's talking about is he DM'd um, one of the girls on Instagram. He was pinged at their house at least a dozen times before um, the murders. Uh, it just came out that he visited the restaurants that they worked at at least twice before. Um, so yeah, no, he definitely was plotting this and it's pretty clear evidence that for amateurs like us, that, that he's guilty. Um, and it's hard to think that he was doing all of this for like months and planning and planning and planning before, um, the like murders came to be so yeah no he he was plotting this for a while but i don't know if he was imperfect or he wanted to get caught which i think is what we're still trying to figure out i mean the craziest part when we found out he was like a criminology student everybody was like oh he must have been trying to do the perfect crime that's why he was studying criminology but like there was a bunch of stuff that they teach in criminology 101 that he just was terrible at like the fact that he left the sheath of the knife we found out at the crime mm-hmm. scene, which had all the DNA that they found. I don't know how exactly they found it. There's rumors they used Ancestry, um, but they got it from his trash, I think, at the end of the day. They got it from his father's trash, I thought. Oh, Pennsylvania. someone's trash, all the way in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah. But that's wild. So what did he DM to the girls? I didn't see that exact spot. Um, apparently, it was just – it was it was nothing cr- – creepy in terms of like it was just more of like a hey hi how are you um and the girls never responded obviously um but he did take those steps to dm them on instagram that's even more terrifying yeah that's like, even more terrifying because it's just like any random dude who just says DMT. hey like Could, <laughs> i mean if, if that's what's if that's what's happening now i'm screwed like i'm dead <laughs> like but um, I, I, I think it's it's different when you're, you know, a college student. And I, I mean, before this job, I wasn't I wasn't getting like random DMs from people. Um, mm-hmm. So I think a lot of girls get those. And I, I'm sure you're not thinking, you know, whatever. It's some dude like move on. They were all beautiful girls, like makes total sense. Um, but the fact that like he was so close to them and like visited the restaurants they worked at, like he was in their proximity so often and so um like intentionally yeah yeah that's terrifying i mean it would have been better if it was like a super creepy dm because then you could be like okay there were red flags it wasn't totally random that that random dude at your you know office work uh, yeah like see randomly at a restaurant like see around campus could possibly be like that's i that is ridiculous like no it was just someone no no so it's like they took a, a search warrant for his pullman washington home and what they took out was nitrate type black gloves a walmart receipt with dickie's tag two marshall receipts a dust container from a Bissell Power Force vacuum, eight possible hair strands, a fire TV stick, one possible animal hair strand, tons of hair is what they got from uh, the apartment, a computer tower, a collection of dark red spots, two cuttings from uncased pillows, and two top and bottom mattress cover packages. Jesus. So I'm assuming they're, I mean, they're going to just take all of that and compare the DNA. To the I mean, knife sheet and 
Um, I don't know if they, I don't know if they ever said that the girls had DNA on them, mm. but like, I mean, I, I, I just, I just don't see how he didn't think he was going to get caught. I mean, it's but not, I guess if you're a sociopath like that. You just aren't thinking like we think. Yeah. They, all those guys, like, I know we, they were talking about Dahmer and like other killers. They like think they're geniuses. And because of that, right. they're so arrogant. That and, I mean, he, we talked about it on our episode of his dad. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, wait, no, that was about, sorry, I'm mixing up my creepy men. I'm thinking about the Nexium guy. Yeah. Um, I'm like, the guy was a genius. No, but I'm sure it was a similar situation where it was just like, you know, he's a smart guy. He's in a PhD program in criminology. He was intelligent from what we know. But it's, it's. You don't, I just, you don't have that filter that you and I have as like normal, rational human beings mm. to be like, no, I'm going to stop this. And then, and now here we are. Yeah. So apparently he did try to be intelligent by avoiding the police by wearing gloves everywhere to not leave any fingerprints, any hair after the m- murders in grocery mm-hmm. stores. And, you know, this guy just. Jeez. They followed him for several days in Pennsylvania's. So, whoa. I mean, this guy, this guy was bad, but there's this other dude who recently, they think, allegedly murdered his wife in Cohasset, mm-hmm. Massachusetts. Have you heard that story? Yeah, briefly. Um, I, I heard about the text or the Google searches he um, had directly after she went missing. Which were, I mean, again, like, are all men this stupid? Like, would you just Google, like, how to bury a body? Like, I think. I think if you're stupid enough to kill somebody and not just get divorced, you're stupid enough to do other shit. That's also true. There's much easier ways to divorce your wife. Yep. Like, and even do it shittily. Like, you could just pretend you're not getting divorced and, like, hide assets and then, like, yeah you know, get a clean break and weird. There's like really, sh- there's shittier thing. Like, well, there's shitty things you can do. to like, that aren't the shitty. Yeah. That everyone all around would prefer, but right. it's like gone girl, gone girl exists. Fake your own death, babe. Like, yeah. like, and that's what women do. And that's why we're smart. <laughs> because we would just take our own death and get away and make the man look bad. Also, I think men only get caught with, I think women get away with murder way more. I just, I'm sure we do. Good for us. That's a that's a theory I have. So these are some of the the search the searches. These are ridiculous. <laughs> so basically, this guy's wife was probably cheating on him, going to Washington D.C. Had apartments in several different places. Um, mm-hmm. This guy was a con man. Basically, he sold fake art. He conned tons of people. Okay. And the worst thing is, is there's two kids involved, which I know sucks. Uh, no, three kids, three kids. But basically, this guy, these are this guy's uh, Google searches. Number one, 4.55 a.m. on January 1st. How long before a body starts to smell? So all of these, all of these are, this is ridiculous. This ridiculous. Is between, all these, all these Google searches are from between 4.55 a.m. and 1.20 p.m. How long before a body starts to smell? How to stop a body from decomposing? How to embalm a body? That jump—that's about a twenty-minute jump. Like, how do you? Bro, like, I mean, like. The funniest like, thing is that this guy's like, okay, shit. Like, the only way to stop a body from decomposing is embalming it, and then it's like, to embalm somebody, you need a full like. You need to be a mortician. Yeah. Usually. <laughs> then, then he goes, like, he then. The next like 20 minutes, he's like, okay, well, I can't embalm a body. I'm guess 10 ways to dispose of a dead body if you really need to. Right. <laughs> like, but, like, what are you going to do? Drain the blood like through her? Like, what? How, like, lo- <laughs> <laughs> how long for someone to be missing to inherit? Wait, he Googled that? I didn't see that one. Yeah. That was at 6.25 a.m. So that was 30 minutes, a little bit over 40 minutes after he learned how to dispose of a body. And then he was, can you throw away body parts? What does formaldehyde do? How long does DNA last? 
Can identification be made on partial remains? Dismemberment in the best ways to dispose of a body. How to clean blood from wooden floor. Luminal to detect blood. What happens when you put body parts in ammonia? Is it better to throw crime scene clothes away or wash them? That is the worst. <laughs> That's like the most ridiculous one out of all of them. Is it, is better, it better to better throw, to throw them? crime scene clothes away or wash them? Like this guy's absolutely clueless. Like, obviously, he's going to Google the whole thing. Yeah, ha like, hacksaw, best tool to dismember. Like, some of these things, like, are good questions. And, like, if you did, but probably would plan ahead, like, maybe go to a public library and Google these with, like, a They full still get to the public library, though, because you got to use your card. Yeah, exactly. But, like... I mean, I, again, like, have you ever heard of a digital footprint? Like, at the end of the day... People know, like people can figure out what you're searching. But the funny thing is, is yeah. like the crime scene clothes away one is like, of course you throw them away. You burn them. Like, yeah, you, you burn them. You, I mean, you definitely don't wash them. Washing them, like, I don't think gets rid of everything. Like, like some of these, I would be sort of curious just from like a, like a, just like, how do you embalm a body? Like how, how that's like your brain. I know, I know, but like you could get away with some of these if you didn't just kill somebody. But like, is it better to throw crime scene clothes away? That's like classic, like, like he definitely like, did it and he's panicking and he doesn't even know what to do with his clothes. He looks at crime scene. Like it couldn't be easier to point out. Like H hacksaw best tool to dismember. Can you be charged with murder without a body? <laughs> Did she, was she just like, was she um, decapitated? They haven't found her body. That's okay. what happens to hair on a dead body. What is the rate of decomposition of a body found in a plastic bag compared to on a surface in the woods? Can baking soda make a body smell good? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's all in like the span of like what, 12 hours? Less. Less. I think that's five. Carry the three. Like. 10 hours <laughs> like maybe nine but that's Jesus pretty God. yeah well billy i hate to i hate to let you go i have a dinner to catch yeah hopefully not with a future killer of mine okay true well, be safe out there <laughs> yeah no i love that i'm leaving you with this um so if i'm back let me know um have a great extra dose I hope this was a good extra dose. Sorry, it's a little shorter than usual. I have a plane to catch soon to uh, Arrowhead Stadium to yes. Kansas City. Yes. Be a fun you, time. You finish talking about Cohasset and you have fun this weekend. Love all the macrodosians. I'll talk to you all later, but I got to go. Peace, everybody. Thanks, Mad <laughs> Dog. Shout out Mad Dog for helping me when at the of last course. minute put together something fun. All of right. course. You can talk in a. Bye. Perfect. See you, Madog. Cool. So, uh, don't have much more to comment on the whole situation. Uh, stay safe out there because there's dumbasses who are terrible at committing crimes who will commit crimes. So, signing off. <laughs>